snapshot assessment of Derek Wolf. Uh, it, it's not at all comprehensive, so I, I ask your indulgence. I did want to get this out quickly. He lines up exclusively on the left side, at least the plays that I've watched. Uh, a large portion of his snaps are from three tech, uh, some four, some five, um, some two I. So uh, all over the line, even some wide nine alignments will rush him outside. Uh, I'd say, you know, if we want to compare to compare him to the guy that just went back to the Rams, he's a better uh, pass rusher. He, he does benefit a great deal from having those two guys on the edge uh, in Denver. So we'll see. Um, as a, a run defender, very, very consistent with his hands. Uh, wins inside, does a good job finding the football. Um, uh, and he's able to control the guy across from him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, plays with good pad level. Uh, he's a good run defender. And um, probably, as I said, uh, an upgrade uh, in terms of uh, pass rushing from the interior. Let's call him a, a four tech here. Just kind of a wider four in a uh, four three under front, or excuse me, three four under front. Pretty consistent with his hand placement. He's usually first with his hands, usually inside with his hands. Uh, you can see him peeking into the backfield there, playing with good pad level. He's going to jack this tackle up, extends his arm, he's able to get free, get inside leverage this way, sheds and gets the ball carrier. It's pretty con The center and the guard come off and get him in combination here, and uh, once the center, center goes second level, he does a great job kind of working his hands inside. You can see the uh, outside arm uh, of the guard get flipped up, and his hands work inside finds the ball carry, has a real good understanding of where this uh, run's going based on this double team, I think. But watch the outside arm of the guard. That's him winning inside, almost like a uh, upward rip inside there. Gets leverage inside, makes a stop. I'm just getting familiar with Derek Wolf, but I'm noticing him as very consistent with his hand, very consistent uh, winning with his hands and with fighting to win that inside hand position consistently. Um, at a certain point here, he, he's going to uh, lock out this guard. He's the uh, three tech here in a uh, three, four over. Uh, you can see uh, he must have some reach there. The, the uh, guard is kind of flailing, trying to get his hands uh, reattached. And uh, he's controlling in there. He's able to shed and get in on this tackle. I want you to watch his hands and their fluidity here. Here, here his hands are wide. You can see he does not win in terms of hand position, uh, inside hand position. Both, both arms are outside of the guard. He lines up here at 2i. He's going to jerk the uh, guard to one side. And watch how fluidly the left hand dips under with his shoulder. Uh, he's able to get inside leverage and get in on this tackle. And you can see that best uh, uh, at regular speed. So watch the fluidity of the hands. Uh, the jerk with the right arm, and then the dip with the left shoulder and, and uh, outside arm. He's at three tech here. Uh, the ball comes out quickly. He's able to read the pass and get a, a pressure on the quarterback. Um, notice him, he's first with his hands again here in terms of position. Good pop inside. Uh, then he takes on half with length, takes on half the outside shoulder. Uh, I like how he takes out the back. Uh, releasing here by, by pushing the uh, guard back into him. And again, that ball comes out quickly, but um, you can see he can bring some interior pressure uh, left one-on-one. -on -one. Four down here at the goal line, you can see the uh, three-tech come to get him. You can kind of see that by his alignment. Um, Pre-snap, maybe Derek notices that. Yep, looks like he shifts his body there, right as a ball snap. I think he sees something in the guard's alignment. It's nice. Uh, watch how he sinks his hips here, gets his hands inside, extends his arms, controls this guard, sheds, gets to be in, in on part of the play, or the tackle, excuse me. At 4i here, this is, you know, broken record at this point, works outside, effectively uh, two-gap at this point, uh, two-gapping at this point, watch his eyes, watch his helmet, controlling the tackle. Back cuts it outside. He's able to get off uh, and make the stop.
So he got seven sacks last year in 12 games. Uh, and I've watched, I think, three of them. Watched maybe 20 plays. So this is really just a cursory look overall, but just to get us at least uh, an initial look at him. Here he's part of a stunt. You can see that 59 commands a lot of attention from the tackle and from the guard here, and Wolf picks up on that. So I think he's the beneficiary of that, but um, he does work and split that uh, guard and tackle. This is him rushing uh, from the inside just over, over the guard. Uh, it looks like his preference is to get his hands inside and full, but you can see he works his hands. He's not just going to try to drive straight back. He's gonna have, he realizes he's got to shed at a certain point. Uh, works inside, good hand position, uh, he's able to get the uh, guard off balance, and then swim with his inside arm, and uh, that ball comes out quickly, so he does not get there. But It's a nice rush here um, at three tech. He, he's definitely a beneficiary of Chubb and, and Von Miller on the outside, but this is a nice rush. You can see that he is aware, well, he's one-on-one, -on -one, uh, and he wins that matchup. He's aware of the quarterback's drop right there. You can see him uh, aware of what's going on on the edges, too, I think. He's controlling this guy, clearly. Uh, nice length, nice lean. And what he's going to do is push him back into the only place the quarterback can go. He realizes the quarterback's got to step, uh, step up here with this heat on the edge. Does a great job just over overpowering the lineman there. It's a nice rush uh, from 3-Tech. This, to me, is another example of him uh, winning a one-on-one -on -one matchup, but also uh, having an understanding of where the quarterback is and how he's going to have to step up with his heat off the edge. 